we are given a particle that is performing shm and some data is given regarding that particle and we need to find the equation of motion such that we can find the coordinate and velocity at any given time so what is given equilibrium position is given that is x equal to 0 omega is given and at certain moment of time it's given that when x is x naught then v is vx naught so our approach is with this data we will find a general equation of motion at assuming that uh, this certain moment of time is t is equal to 0 so with this as reference for time we are going to get the equation of motion and with that reference frame the time will be just t because this 2.4 is after that moment so let's read that from initial conditions given we'll find equation of shm at t is equal to 0 and let's say this t is equal to 0 is when it's at x naught and when its velocity is v naught then for general time t is equal to 2.4 we can find x and v so le let's write our general equation for shm that is x minus x mean is equal to a sin omega t plus phi now it's given that mean portion x equal to 0 so xm is equal to 0 so xm is equal to 0 and because we are given vx naught also we'll differentiate to get vx is equal to this now as discussed we are assuming that when it is at x naught and when its velocity is vx naught let's say that is t is equal to 0 so if we do that we get x naught is equal to this and v naught is equal to this now in these two equations we can see the variables are a and phi because we know x naught we know v naught and we know omega it's given in the problem so solving these two we will get the value of uh, amplitude and phi so now we know that at any general time t we can write our equation of motion x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi where we'll put the value of a as this and phi as this so this will be our values of x and v if we put for any general time t our answer all right